This video demonstrates the setup and operation of our WIC 104H four-stroke ultra-lightweight high-pressure fire pump. We need to select a suitable water source. Important factors include sufficient water supply, depth, and whether or not the bottom contains mud, sand, or small stones that could enter the screen and damage the pump end. There should be at least 12 inches or 30 centimeters of water depth. The WIC 104H must have a fairly level base to operate. Therefore, if you are operating the pump on a slope, you may need to level the pump with whatever you have at hand. The intake connection to the pump consists of a foot valve and suction hose. The foot valve is equipped with a screen to keep out stones and other debris, plus a check valve that will prevent water from draining out of the hose line. They should be inspected to ensure there is no foreign debris, the o-ring is correctly seated, and that the check valve is functioning. It is then connected to the suction hose, and since it will be entirely below the surface of the water, this connection only needs to be hand-tight. The foot valve must be completely submerged, at least 6 inches or 15 centimeters below the surface, to avoid a vortex effect that would allow air to enter. In the case of a muddy or sandy bottom, the foot valve must be suspended at least 6 inches or 15 centimeters from the bottom. You can adapt with whatever you have at hand, such as submerging a toolbox, tying the foot valve to a stake, using an empty plastic container to elevate it, or as demonstrated here. In order to protect the pump and threads, always use a thread protector or adapter on both the intake and discharge ends. The connection to the intake must be airtight, and a hose wrench is an important tool to ensure a proper connection. Next, since this is a centrifugal pump, we must prime the pump end with water, and to do this we are using a hand primer. Once the pump end is primed, we connect the discharge hose and the pump setup is now complete. Next, we'll check the oil and gas and add as necessary. This is a four-stroke engine, therefore the oil and gas are not mixed. We should use a high-quality gasoline. Since this is a four-stroke engine, it is important to check the oil before each startup. Too little can damage the engine and too much oil can affect the performance. Remove the oil filler cap and with the pump sitting level, the oil should be visible up to the bottom of the filler opening. Refer to the engine operating manual for the type of oil to use. When ready to start the engine, turn the on-off switch to the on position. Adjust the fuel shutoff lever to fully open. For a cold engine, set the choke to the start position as indicated by the arrow. And finally, set the throttle to approximately one quarter open. Now, pull the starter grip slowly until resistance is felt, then pull it upwards firmly and quickly. When the engine starts or after the first ignition fire, push the choke to the run or open position. This pump is equipped with a clutch, therefore with the throttle in the idle position there will be no water flow. Once the throttle is increased, the clutch will engage and the unit will start pumping water. When ready to shut down the pump, reduce the throttle to minimum and allow the pump to idle for about one minute to cool down. Then turn the on-off switch to off. Refer to our pump operating manual for detailed information on all the various steps covered in this video and for troubleshooting and maintenance of the pump.